Hey guys, Jason with Bentelli Scooters. Today we're going to go over an oil change on a standard QMB 139 49cc scooter. And that's the universal engine that you see in a lot of the stuff that's out there. And essentially what we're going to do is go through it step by step, try to make it as clear as possible. This way you can get a little better understanding of exactly what's involved. And I do want to mention we always recommend that you have a service center that's authorized by us, perform the initial servicing as well as all the oil changes. But if you happen to be in an area where there's not one close by, this video may be helpful for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step that we're gonna do is place the scooter onto the main kickstand. This is for two reasons. One, it's a lot more stable, and two, this actually allows the oil level to drain properly. If you're on the side stand, everything would lean over to the far side of the engine, and that wouldn't do you any good. So especially doing it with one person, it's a lot easier. Right now we have it on the lift. Of course, you could always do this on the ground as well, but this is really for just demonstrative purposes only. And in order to go to the next step, we're going to need a 3 8 ratchet and a 17 millimeter socket. This is going to be so we can remove the oil drain plug, which is at the bottom of the engine. And it's always going to be right there by the exhaust on these engines. So first thing we're going to do with the ratchet on loosen, we're going to place it onto the drain plug and we're going to start loosening. I always recommend keeping a little bit of tension just so the plug doesn't fall out into your oil and create a huge mess. And as you can see, I'm wearing these black latex gloves. So in case I do get any type of oil spillage, it's gonna be easy to clean up and it won't be that big of a deal. Okay, so I'm gonna remove my ratchet. You can already see the oil starting to come out. And I'm gonna slowly pull down and remove the plug. Get a little bit of the excess oil out. So there you have your drain plug itself. You have the spring assembly and actually up inside of here is gonna be your screen little metal mesh filter. And it's very important when you take this out to always inspect it. You wanna see if there's any type of metal flakes in there or essentially just gives you a good idea of what's going on inside the engine. If there was a lot of buildup on there, a lot of sludge, that could be a good telltale sign that there's something going on. So we're just gonna go ahead and pull that to the side for now and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so over here we have the screen metal filter. You can see that's clean, ready for reinstallation, the spring itself and the drain plug. What we're gonna do now, you can see it's almost done draining here with the oil. It doesn't look like there's much coming out, but what I like to do is a little maneuver that saves you a little bit of time from having to remove the plug that's on the opposite side of the engine, and it makes sure that you get all the oil that's in there out. So what we're gonna do, unscrew the dipstick, and it's located just above your muffler. We're gonna set that to the side, along with our other parts. And using some compressed air, you can see I have an air attachment on here, we're gonna very carefully place it into the hole over here, and we're gonna lightly press on it just to get some airflow through the engine to help finish draining. And normally what you'll find is there's about 100 to maybe 150 milliliters that's still trapped inside the engine. This is a really quick and easy way to get that out without having to add too many more steps. So as you can see, we're just gonna go ahead and take this, press down. And I don't know if you saw that, but a pretty substantial amount of oil just came out. All right, so now all of the oil is basically out of the engine. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna move the drain, uh, drain pan out of the way, and we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the drain plug in the correct order. You're gonna take the drain plug itself, place the, the spring into it, and then you're gonna grab the metal mesh filter and put it in like so. Do a quick visual inspection just to make sure that grommet and that rubber is not destroyed. I have seen that from time to time. I'm not sure how that happens, but you will notice occasionally you'll run into that kind of an issue. But just do a quick visual inspection. Everything looks okay here. So all we're gonna do is take this, place it back into the engine, make sure we're seated in there properly, and we're just gonna slowly tighten it down by hand, and we're gonna make sure that we're not cross-threading it here because that's a very, very bad thing to do. So just take your time and get it nice and snug like so. So now with the oil drain plug snug in there, what we're gonna do is take your 3 8 ratchet with your 17 millimeter socket, place it on, and we're just gonna tighten this up. We don't wanna go too tight, once you feel it actually get a little bit more snug, just give it a little bit more of a turn. This is very soft metal, so you wanna make sure you do not over tighten this. But once it's snug, you're good to go, and we'll move on to the next step. All right, so now what we're gonna take is a standard funnel. I like to use the smaller designs, this way it fits inside the hole a lot easier. You don't have to worry about a lot of excessive oil dripping or anything like that. We're just gonna place it into the hole like so. We're gonna grab our oil. I always recommend following your owner's manual. If you have a different manufacturer, they may suggest something else. Most of the time, you'll find somebody recommending a 10W30 or a 10W40. For this particular application, we're gonna use a 10W30. 
And as far as how much oil it holds, again, always check with the manufacturer, always check your owner's manual and go by that. I can tell you that with the oil fully drained the way we just did it, this engine will hold just about 725 to 750 milliliters. So what we're gonna do, slowly pour this in. We're gonna be mindful not to spill anything anywhere. And we're just gonna go a little bit at a time. You wanna make sure that the oil is going down into the engine. If it's not, you may have seen that from time to time. The reason for that is actually a kinked hose on the uh, crankcase itself. It's not getting ventilated properly. So if you do happen to notice the oil is not going into the engine, this would be a really good time to check for that. We're just gonna to continue to add the oil until we get to right about 700 milliliters. All right, so we have just about 700 milliliters of oil in there. What we're gonna do now is double check our level. We're gonna pull the funnel out, place it to the side along with your oil. And we're gonna grab the dipstick that you see here. You'll notice there's actually a series of X's on here. And from this point to there, it's about 100 milliliters or so, maybe a little bit more, but that's the range that we want it to be in between. We want to make sure that we're never below the X's because you'd have not enough oil, and that would cause a lot of issues. We also want to make sure that you don't have too much oil in there because that as well will cause issues. So what we're going to do, we're going to wipe it off real quick with a rag or a paper towel. And we're going to simply place it into the engine, pause for just a moment, pull it out, and then you're going to check your level. As you can see here, we're just up to that second X, so it's good to go. So with your oil level checked, everything's good to go. The last thing we're gonna do on this side is simply screw in the oil dipstick and we wanna make sure we do not cross thread that since it's a plastic style dipstick and we are screwing it into metal. Once that's snug, you're all set. And there you have it. We just wrapped up the oil change on this 49cc Bentelli Sprint and it's all set and ready to go. It is worth mentioning that whenever you take your scooter in at an authorized Bentelli service center, they're gonna go through this unit from front to back. So even if you go in just for an oil change, they're gonna check out a lot of other stuff on the scooter as well, including the hardware. They're gonna check the suspension, make sure everything's okay there, perform valve adjustments as necessary, check out all your electrical switches, basically just make sure that you have a roadworthy vehicle and it's all set and ready to go. Once again, this is Jason on behalf of Bentelli Scooters. I welcome you to check out our website, BentelliScooters.com, or check us out on Facebook as well. If you have any questions or if you want to purchase a Bentelli for your own, check us out. We have a dealer locator on our website, BentelliScooters.com. We'd love to have you as part of the family. Thanks for watching. Hope to hear from you soon.